Hi, welcome to Learn How to Retire Now. Uh, I am Chuck Oliver, Wealth Architect and Retirement Specialist. I'm excited with uh, two decades of helping people build lifetime protected retirement income. I'm excited to share with you a couple key uh, case studies uh, that we've been able to have as a proven track record of performance for my latest book, What to Do at 62. So whether you're 62 or you're before the age of 62 or you're after the age of 62, it's really irrelevant. 10,000 people a day are, are turning uh, in their early 60s. Uh, in fact, 10,000 people a day are turning just 65. So add those that are turning 62, 63, and 64, and it's thousands upon thousands of people per day. And we have a crisis in this country, if you haven't noticed, and that is people are going to have the concern and should have the concern of running out of money before they run out of life, especially since this is the first generation the baby boomer generation too likely will have worked more years, um, excuse me, spent more years in retirement than the number of years that they've worked. And so here's where I'd like to really get your attention and have you in the moment. If you would just shut down any uh, distraction to the outside world, cell phones, uh, email reminders, and if you're, you have a significant other, uh, please get he or she involved with you, even if you have to uh, drag them kicking and screaming the importance of having everybody in the house uh, hold on the same page from my two decades plus of experience is vital and that way you can take this knowledge and create wisdom and then be able to take some good educated uh, direction for yourselves in those decisions together and I realize sometimes one spouse has more to do with the finances than the other but the reality is this will have an impact on both spouses in particular the surviving spouse as well as the importance of, of the one spouse who wants to make sure that the surviving spouse is protected. So we're going to cover a lot of ground in a short period of time. So if you can be present, uh, that would be helpful. And I look forward to teaching you that the game has changed. The retirement game has changed. And if you keep following what everybody else is doing, unfortunately, you're going to get what everybody else has got. And, and that's uh, being forced to, to work throughout retirement. I think uh, it's important to understand that the Employee Benefit Research Institute reported that the top 25% of retirees between the ages of 65 and 69 derive almost 50% of their income from wages, which means the top retirees really aren't retired and they're having to, to, to go to work to make up for half the income that they can't get from their assets. And I want to teach you how that doesn't have to be you. And some very big threats are on the table to some very special Social Security filing benefit strategies that uh, I teach from the book that I'll, I'll be mentioning as we go through today as well. So here's the areas we're going to cover. The top four threats to, to retirement, the five greatest traps to retirement, and the core four retri retirement success criteria that will be mandatory in order for you to be able to make it. And you, the good news is you can do this. In fact, I'm going to teach you today how to do it bigger, faster, and easier by doing things that aren't following the crowd. In fact, uh, the case study solutions we're going to look at today is number one, using your personal social security and creating your own secured pension more so than what social security would pay out. Uh, the second case study is how to create two in one protected income, retirement income, where we're using the same IRA or former 401k or whatever qualified plan that may be, uh, Roth IRA, etc. to create a, a tax-free lifetime income uh, but two different uh, incomes that also support the surviving spouse where a lot of these pensions will not. And, and the third case study is how to do both of those entirely tax-free from the same retirement income saving source to have two tax-free retirement income plans. So let's look at uh, the reality of where we are and, and, and an acronym I teach from some of my former books is it's time. You know, it's time to get financial peace of mind, and, and time is an acronym that stands for taxes are rising, inflation's increasing, markets are risky, and the economy is only going to go and grow more and more uncertain. In fact, market data research reveals 82% of those 55 and older are not confident in having a secure retirement. In fact, people between the ages of 49 and 65, the survey found and market data found, are very concerned of not being able to retire. Well, when you look at the statistic that I've shared, which is here, the top 25% of retirees ages 65 to 69 derive 45% on average of their income to support their retirement lifestyle from wages. Folks, they're forced to keep working 
and I can tell you from interviewing several of those folks for my books, they aren't working by choice. They are working because the cost to live has increased so considerably that in order to just maintain what they have, they're forced to work. Not choose to work. Nothing wrong with, with having pride and purpose unless you're being forced to trade your time for money. And retirement uh, is, is being able to have a choice of trading your time for money. So here's what I want you to do. I, I want you to really, I want to challenge you to think about your thinking, okay? And Einstein, I think, said it best when he said, the world as we have created it is a process of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. So think about your thinking, uh, not about your thoughts, not about people, not about things. Think about your thinking and really make sure that you have positioned your thoughts around things that likely you've not been taught before. Folks, the national debt has really put uh, much of this crisis that uh, the fear of people running out of money before they run out of life. I mean, the reality is just the interest on our debt alone, and this is before interest rates rise. 41 million per hour, 700,000 per minute, or $12,000 per second. Now, just in the time that I've gone over that with you, the debt's gone up almost $100,000. Think about that. Think about that thinking. Uh, you know, a third of retirees today are found that are 65 or older relying solely on Social Security as their only source of income, which is really social insecurity, not social security. And here's what we found. What clients have desired, uh, the top things that the clients that, that we work with and have with for over, over two decades now, um, it doesn't seem to be much different. The number one answer is losing to taxes. They want to stop losing to taxes. They want to stop losing their principal. And they, they are very concerned that it's too late. Well, our median age client is going to be in their, their early to mid 60s. Our oldest client are in their early 80s. Uh, our youngest client uh, was eight years of age. So the reality is it, it's never too late and it's never too early. Uh, the reality is it's, it's just time to start prioritizing and making decisions. And getting your ducks in a row, uh, you never can do that too soon. And what clients are seeking are secure retirement alternatives, right? They realize Wall Street is not what it was made out to be, especially after 9-11, especially after the meltdown of the mortgage crisis in 2008, 2009. And the reality is they want their money to be able to have it grow, have it be able to be accessed and be able to transfer that money totally tax-free, especially uh, the importance of making sure that they don't suffer market losses again. See, uh, we're going to learn through one of the traps that um, how your money is positioned tax-wise is, is a big game changer, especially how your money is positioned, as most people we find are investing. They're not securely indexing. And indexing is what the largest banks, uh, largest uh, corporations, and some of the wealthiest ultra wealthy uh, kind of industry icon families have done in this country for years that I'm going to teach you by the time we conclude exactly how you can do the same. And then getting money out of what I call these future ticking tax time bomb accounts such as 401ks and IRAs. The reality folks is um, the tax that you'll defer in those accounts over a 30 year period of time will be paid back entirely in less than three years and if that's if tax rates don't go up. So uh, it's a facade and you can do something about it, especially if you're still paying into 401ks uh, and quickly trying to contribute to IRAs. Maybe you're someone that uh, tries to do that before tax day every April. Stop. Stop and think about your thinking as from the information and material learned today. So here's what the Hidden Wealth Strategy Solutions have been able to provide to our uh, clients, and this was their top feedback. Number one, the ability to not outlive their money by having a protected retirement income, a retirement income protection plan, as we call it. Uh, the ability to secure a safe and worry-free retirement, bigger, faster, and easier. See, one of the case studies I'm going to share with you in creating uh, two pension incomes from the same retirement saving source uh, may on the surface sound too good to be true, but just because you've not heard of it Please don't discount it. Be, be willing to suspend your disbelief here over the next 45 minutes or so so that you can truly learn what uh, you've never been made aware of until now and then what you can do to take action to see how that relates to your own customized situation. And then lastly, the ability to leave a tax-free legacy. No one's ever come to us saying they want to leave a bunch of money to their children or their church or their charities. Uh, but what they have said is, boy, if there be a way to be able to really enjoy our retirement, to travel, visit the grandkids, be there, 
uh, do what we want to do, when we want to do it, how we want to do it. And yet there was still something left over, especially if we could see the fruits of that labor while we're living, as opposed to just leaving that money after we're gone. Boy, it'd be really neat to tie a legacy transfer, tax-free transfer strategy relationship into this. And that's exactly what we'll be teaching you today. So big question before we get started. Uh, why hasn't my CPA attorney or other advisor talked to me about this? Folks, it's just like what you're looking at. Um, we can all see the same thing and see it differently. Here we have a beaver uh, who sees breakfast, uh, the advisor um, who is kind of a caveman of this because he's never really heard of it before. He sees it as firewood. And then we got Archimedes here who sees this as a lever to move the world, which is really a wealth strategist. And I would tell you, we teach other advisors. Uh, I've taught thousands of advisors as well as CPAs and attorneys. In fact, uh, we purposely teach CPEs to being continuing education uh, courses to CPAs because what you'll learn is uh, much of the strategy isn't deemed earned passive or portfolio income therefore there's nothing to return in or report to your CPA which means a CPA unless it's a form that he or she can research to see the relevance of where that ties into the tax code uh, they're, they're, they're not familiar with these strategies so before you ask your CPA have you heard of these retirement insurance contracts I can tell you up front the answer is no. In fact, we spend a lot of time having our clients educate their CPAs, but the good news is your CPA tax bill should go down. It shouldn't go up because there's less for them to do when you can get your, your income or predominantly uh, all of your income completely tax-free. And a good reminder is you can't get a second opinion from the person that gave you the first one because they've already given you their first best opinion. So before you would ask someone to educate your advisor, Folks, most advisors, 99% of them do the same thing. Uh, how can we grow your money with no conversation around how do we protect it from inflation, how do we protect it from taxation, and how do we create uh, very unique uh, asset optimization strategies because most people are just throwing you Morningstar reports and uh, glossy uh, software illustrations that um, for the most part uh, are, are a big risk to your retirement, to say the least. So what are the five biggest retirement traps? And for my books, uh, traps, I'll spell them out here. T for taxes, they're heading higher. R for risk of market losses, we've seen plenty of those. A for annual inflation impact. P for personal health setbacks. And S for serious longevity. And you notice S came up first. Um, I would tell you that's, that's the biggest trap is that uh, one of the, t of the two spouses has a 52% um, or greater odd uh, odds of living to age 96. And this was a study done back in 2010. And so serious longevity is only going to become more and more serious. And so let's look at each one of these quickly. The, the T or trap, the tax trap, is you can have your money and tax me now, tax me later, or tax me never. And I ask people all the time, which of these three tax worlds would you prefer to have your serious retirement savings in? Tax me as we go, or tax me now, tax me later, or tax me never. And I want to teach you about the retirement insurance contract so that you can have the tax me never uh, alternative. In fact, um, the tax me later, which is really all the 401k, is deferring tax out to a later date or what you have in your IRAs, Time Magazine found uh, back in, in 2009. Uh, they refer to it as um, the rotten repository, or like the cover says, why it's time to retire the 401k and what you can do instead. And we teach a lot of people and have for years now on what they have successfully done far better, bigger, faster, cheaper, easier in building that, especially with all the scrutiny over 401ks and proper disclosure that was passed back in 2012 that really hasn't taken off. Been a lot of industry articles in the Wall Street Journal written about how excessive the fees are, how poor the f performance has been, and the high risk now that we're seeing over and over again about uh, deferring out the, the monies growing in these ticking tax time bombs by being able to reduce your future taxation by distributing out of these accounts before you're forced to at the age of 70 and a half. So here's what we mean by that force. The forced required minimum distribution tax, or what I write about in my latest book, RMD, really should stand for Retirement Money Drain. And here's an IRA account that has currently 500000 And the inheritance tax as of today, uh, depending on their taxable estate, is likely $0.50 cents on the dollar. Um, but that's not just because I'm showing you that now. That's what the, just the general inheritance tax will be after, uh, through this person's lifetime. 
because um, the total taxes on the RMDs alone, right, are 534,000 projected, which that's in today's tax brackets before taxes go up. So the tax, if you're sitting there with 500,000 and you've not turned 70 yet, the tax over your lifetime will be more than what you actually have in the IRA account. And then add to that the inheritance tax after the second spouse passes, and we're pushing almost $800,000 of total tax on an account that's valued at 500,000 today. Folks, there's very unique strategies to stop the retirement money drain and be able to have three to five times more as a result of doing something with 100% less risk with two to four times more upside. The risk trap being the risk worlds, uh, this is investing, right? Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, variable annuities. In other words, no principal protect, protection. Maybe you have those in the wrapper of an IRA, a 401k, a 403b, or a SEP. And Dalbar, uh, their 2012 study that was released last year, uh, had that the average 20-year return for the average equity investor has averaged 4.25%. And folks, that's before fees and taxes, which means maybe maybe someone's netting about two and a half percent and taking 100 percent risk to try to make a couple percent versus what i'm teaching you today in the safe indexing solution and one of the 20-year averages here has averaged 8.79 percent tax-free for the last 20 years and that's if you pick the worst day to go into the indexing strategy see a lot of what people demonstrate, which you'll see in a moment, in what they're projecting their returns to be in the prospectuses, they've picked the best day that they could have ran that average. Uh, that's a lot of smoke and mirrors, folks, but not everybody puts their money in the same day. The reality is, out of 365 different points that you could have picked, the worst day that you could have picked, it's averaged over eight and three quarters percent tax-free. The key, as Buffett math would refer to it as, uh, never lose money. And the key is to never lose, and there's always got to be a way to lock in and reset. So a 25% loss has to be followed by a 33% gain to get back to even. A 33% loss has to be followed by a 50% gain to get back to even. And many, even CPAs, have missed this question that we've asked. If you lose 50%, how much do you have to gain to get back to even? And if you lose 50%, you've got to gain 100% just to get back to even. Folks, it's mathematically proven it's easier to lose money than it is to make it back. The key is to never lose, and when there is a loss, we stay so we can lock in and reset and start our gain where everybody else is starting to make up their losses. So here's what's going on with the risk of loss world. You know, Here's the father of indexing. Now, these are index mutual funds um, that don't have a downside of protection. But uh, back on April 1st of 2013, John Bogle, the creator of Vanguard, uh, was quoted in saying, prepare for at least two declines of up to 50%. And he had said at this time, over the next five to 10 years. Now, couple that with the greatest investor of all time, the great Warren Buffett, just about a month later this time last year, said there will, there w we will have another bubble and it will burst. And he was just quoted uh, just in this... Uh, last uh, two weeks or month or this year uh, several different times talking about how overvalued the market is and how there's going to be a massive sell-off which uh, <laughs> there has been and so we will have another bubble and it will burst coming from the greatest investor of all time the other trap which we really want to guard against is your annual inflation impact um, the reality is you've got to know what your lifestyle income number is so let's assume that your lifestyle income number today that you live off of for your family is $6,000 a month. Uh, we call inflation the silent thief and we use a very simple economic uh, calculation called the rule of 72 and that is whatever uh, number you divide into 72 tells you how quickly that number is going to double. So let's assume that if we believe counting uh, food and energy in our inflation calculation which the government excludes that 6% into 72 goes 12 times, which means in 12 years, the purchasing power of 6,000 will now be, need to be 12,000 to maintain the same purchasing power as what 12 years before was only 6,000. 24 years, imagine it's gonna be 24,000. 36 years, you, know, you see the math, 48,000. And I ask people all the time, that I, I realize that can be a really kind of a tough pill to swallow, but think about your first home 
your first car and your first vacation. And then think about your last home, your last car, and your last vacation. And the reality is, if, especially if you're in your 60s, uh, it's about a 10 times multiple. So anyone who does any grocery shopping knows that the prices are higher and the quantity is less and uh, the cost of living is far exceeding one or two percent even though the government would like to lead us to believe that that was a way for them to suspend cost of living increases to social security back in uh, a couple of years ago so we've got to guard against this uh, silent thief because um, he comes in the night and uh, he sneaks up on us and people need to be able to maintain the same purchasing power for their gas and groceries not have to uh, cut their lifestyle choices to travel to see their family, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren, etc., or travel to enjoy their retirement and then have to cut back because this, as well as the rising, uh, increasing cost of health care, uh, unfortunately puts them out of having choice and control. We want to maintain that, right? And this is the first generation, the boomer generation, the largest segment generation that's ever come through uh, our U.S. system is projected to live more years in retirement than the number of years that they actually worked, right? So maybe they work 30 years, but they're retired for 40 years. We have a client, uh, fascinating, um, who is 102, rides a stationary bike 10 minutes a day, and uh, said back in, in, you know, she said recently, you know, if you'd asked me back when I was 60 that if I'd be hanging around here for over four decades, and still feeling really good and riding a bike every day and really living independently with just a little bit of assistance, I would have said you were crazy. There's story after story like that, folks, which really takes us to the next trap, which is the physical health trap. Right? Don't several articles, and I've talked about this repeatedly. Uh, don't underestimate healthcare costs in retirement. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people recently who are very, very concerned, and for good reason. Um, you know. Affordable Care Act is to me is like the acronym, or excuse me, like the um, oxymoron jumbo shrimp. You know, just think about it. Affordable Care Act, um, folks. The cost of health care has only one direction, and the challenge with this is market research now finds if a married couple retires at 65, there's a very high chance that one spouse will live into their mid to late 90s. Now shock that devastates couples in retirement is the unanticipated medical expense and health care cost issues, right? So 78 million boomers will be 65 by 2025. Now listen to this, 68% of those, 65 and older, will need assistance with daily living activities, while one in seven will require some form of in-home care. I would tell you, I'm a full-time practitioner, so I, I meet with people. Most of my clients are going to be in their early to mid-60s. And 97% of them do not have long-term care, and they're very concerned. And there's some very unique ways to tie in chronic care protection, which is what long-term care is, with these retirement insurance contract designs so that you've got a backup of protection in case you need it without having to spend down your other assets. Which brings us to the most serious and sincere concern, uh, uh, and that is longevity. Serious longevity. Uh, as this says, life at age 100 is surprisingly healthy. And this was back in the New York Times in 2001. So here's Sarah. She's 118 in this picture. Um, here's Bradley to contrast the, the, the big age uh, difference. Her great, great, great grandson, who's three. Uh, here's her grandson, Bob, at 73. Her great granddaughter at 49, Kathy. Uh, her great, great granddaughter at 27. And then her own daughter, Kitty who's 95. Folks, people are living longer and longer and longer and that's going to continue to be that the pattern. And because of that, at least one spouse will likely become a centenarian. In fact, as a percentage of population, the fastest growing segment of our population here in the United States are centenarians, those living to be 100 or older. So let's transition. What are the core four retirement success criteria and how can we avoid the five greatest traps to retirement? So, very important to understand, regardless of where you've come from, you've had to get, get to where you are right now, right? Today's the first day of the rest of your life. You've had to learn everything you've learned up to this point to be able to take what you've learned, to be able to make choices that will improve, right? So the most important retirement plan decision isn't your last one, it's your next one. So the core four strategies really are a simple acronym that I teach in my books, SAFE, right? 
safe. The S stands for secure from losses. You've got to get your money somewhere. Your serious retirement savings, and I mean serious. Those of you that save 300000 or more and you're within a certain number of years of retirement or you're already in retirement and you need to make it last, you've got to get that serious retirement savings in a position of safe indexing where your money only participates when market indexes go up, does not participate when those market indexes go down. Now keep in mind, the top advisors in this country try to get as close to the performance of these indices. The reality is just get a link to the indice, but in a unique structure that only allows you to participate when that index goes up, not when the index goes down. So when it does, you are protected. Now, number two, you, you need to have accessibility, but you can't be locked out of your money to your 59 and a half, and you surely can't afford to be forced out of your, your money at 70 and a half. You want to be able to always get your money when you need it for what you need it for and not have to explain all the reasons why or, or, or for what you're wanting the money to be used on. And you got to have accessibility. Three, free. The F in safe stands for free from tax. You know, the money needs to grow without tax in these, these your serious savings retirement solutions. And you need to be able to access it without tax. You need to be able to transfer it without tax. And number four, especially if you're really going to be retired, ease easy to manage, right? We can pick an index or a combination of indices. We can link knowing we're only linking to their gains. We're not linking to their losses. And it really protects people from themselves of buying high and selling low. And yet at the same time, it truly enables them to enjoy retirement. They're not having to pull up all the financial data on their cell phone or on TV, reading the newspaper constantly or constantly on logging into their brokerage account. Folks, that's not retirement. That's madness. And people have thanked us time and time and time again, especially if you have a spouse reviewing this with you who's constantly uh, having to remind their other spouse, will you please put the phone down? And yet some people have to determine how well or how poorly they've done on what next trip they're going to take or airline tickets they're going to book. Folks, it doesn't need to be that way. So what's changed? Folks, the game has changed and it's, it's like a game of football. Uh, many of us, unfortunately, 99% of us, right, have really only prepared for the first half. And this is where most traditional advisors, financial advisors, hold their shingle. And that's talking to you about putting away money pre-tax, 401ks, maxing out IRAs, how great it is to have tax deferral. That's not tax savings, folks. That's just deferring the tax, but you're also deferring the tax calculation. Market timing, somehow they've got a crystal ball to know when to divide your money between stocks and bonds, which is humorous. Because when you think about it, there's over 8,000 mutual funds out there. And if somebody really knew how to time the market or what structure to put your monies into, why would you need over 8,000 choices? And then many, many financial calculators and gurus will say, well, you can just live off of 70% of your highest salary. Folks, that would be true if there was no such thing as inflation and you wanted to live in a, in a poverty level of retirement. But if we go into this first half and we're down three touchdowns, using the same plan in the second half that got us down in the first half isn't going to get us there. So this is this is really understanding the first and second half of the game and these are authorized hidden wealth architects, folks that uh, I've personally trained and they understand really I think the core things to retirement, how to have tax exit strategies, exit, get Uncle Sam out of your retirement, exit taxation forever. Uh, inflation protection, the impact of inflation, how you can guard against it and always outfox inflation. Having lifetime income solutions where if the whole market goes to heck in a handbasket, you have a guaranteed payout that will protect you for the rest of your life as well. Very important point here, as the surviving spouse of the two of you, not just the first, but survive the second of you. And then wealth legacy transfer that then after the second spouse passes, the government doesn't become the greatest beneficiary of all your life's hard work, but you're able to leave that to your children, your church, your charities, and make a big difference, not just uh, when you're gone, but also while you're living. And so here's an article I did for Forbes um, and Yahoo Finance, and that is, we want safety and we want growth, but no one really has security in both of those. And you, know, you need a, a good yielding side fund uh, banks typically aren't that. We've got some good solutions there. Very safe, simple, 6.5% yielding side funds that are much safer than banks. But getting your money safe so we have principal protection. But then instead of risking it all in the Wall Street casino, right? Assets exposed to risk for growth, which we're repeatedly told from Wall Street because they can't make any underlying guaranteed promises of protection. 
is where we want to have the best of both of these worlds, where we can create a personal protected pension plan for protected retirement income accounts. And by default, the world of security comes with the world of protection. So if, gosh forbid, there was a pension to be replaced, we don't have to worry about replacing it. This has an extension of the protected income plan supporting the surviving spouse, not just both spouses while they're living. Uh, Long-term care protection. You know, people have a high per 68% of those 65, couple 65 and older, 68%, uh, are, one of them is going to need some form of long-term care. And as people live longer and longer, that percentage is only going to go higher. And if chronic care can be very expensive, so have something that provides that benefit without you having to spend down your other savings or your other assets, especially critical care, heart attack, stroke, um, being able to use some very unique structure to that as well as uh, cover the increasing cost of health care and then still be able to leave a legacy. And the reality is it's not putting all your eggs in one basket, folks. It's, it's putting all your eggs in one basket, not one basket, but the right eggs in the right baskets first. And that's having a maximum asset plan, a, a wealth map that uh, typically isn't discussed in, in the traditional advisor arena because uh, it's all about growing your money, not protecting it from inflation, taxation, and losses. It's just about growing it. Well, we've all heard the, the point that it's not what you make, it's what you keep. The good news is you make more here as well as you keep a significant amount more if you can understand it. And where are these things? Well, these are all in the tax code that have been grandfathered. And uh, if the taxes were to change, that's why it's important with a lot of people wanting to get grandfathered right away. Uh, they're very motivated to get grandfathered. And so here's the sections of the code inside of designing a proper designed retirement insurance contract. Now, 101A section of the code allows money from these special design contracts to pass tax-free 72E, which is inside of 401ks and IRAs, allows the money to grow or accumulate tax deferred. And then the unique section of section code 7702 allows us to access our money entirely tax-free. Somewhat uh, like a Roth IRA, if you would. But this isn't grandma's life insurance anymore, right? There's two ends of the insurance spectrum, which is what the ultra-wealthy have been able to grow, amass, and protect, as well as transfer uh, like the Rothschilds, which is a very famous name, right? The Rothschilds had a, a banking dynasty in Europe, and the five sons communicated through stool pigeons, and they were able to continually build a bigger and bigger banking dynasty by using these special designs way back. And so it, when we think about insurance, because you hear the word insurance in these contracts, we think about traditional insurance, right, like term insurance. What's the most coverage I can get for the least uh, amount I need to pay and folks, we're on the whole other end of the spectrum because this isn't about death insurance. This is about what's the least amount that I have to take for the greatest amount that I can shelter and protect. In essence, living the life insurance, not waiting to die for the insurance to be used, which is what major corporations and banks use to protect their their pension plans. So that as uh, well, you know, Walmart is uh, rumored to have over 300,000 of these designs. Um, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase Bank, three of the biggest banks in the world, have almost $30 billion to $40 billion in these protected pension, uh, special use of, of retirement insurance contracts. And so when will the IRS change the laws? Uh, the reality is uh, this is what gets politicians um, reelected. And Boley and Coley stand for bank-owned life insurance and corporate-owned life insurance. And this is where the most prized and protected assets, which are referred to as Tier 1 assets, in banks are protected. Right? There's billions owned by banks and billions owned by corporations. And when you and I have 50 to 100% higher net spendable retirement income, we may not spend it on ourselves, but we'll spend it. Grandchildren, great-grandchildren, helping them with college, helping them with honeymoons, helping them with down payments on homes. Um, traveling more to be part of their lives, uh, consumption, consumption, consumption. And the reality is since less than one out of two of us pay any federal income tax, the reality is there's always been, and it's proven, more consumption tax in the United States than there ever has been federal income tax. And the reality also is all inheritances, 85% of those anyway, are completely spent in under 24 months. So at the same time, it creates a, a, a huge opportunity to put a lot of tax-free assets right back into the to the economy and as a result of that there's more tax stimulants 
as a result of allowing these strategies, provided people know what they're doing, they're structured right, and that's why there's right and wrong ways to do this. Now, I think a key thing to be thinking about your thinking is you've got to protect yourself by getting grandfathered. So if, if you like what you're hearing, you want to explore it more, and you're serious about protecting your retirement, I doubt that there's been a greater time than recent to get serious about that only because this current administration um, is going to be in need of every tax dollar and every nook and cranny they can find it. So although I don't think uh, they'll, they'll give up getting the key votes from the biggest banks and corporations in America, I do think they might come in and maybe alter some of the design that may make it a little less favorable unless, like when they changed it in 82, 84, and 88, you can get grandfathered under the current provisions, which uh, understand that's very important because right now we can really get these things designed much faster, not quite as well as we could pre-88, but um, much faster than the other type of special design of insurance. Now, um, the top uh, use of saving strategy for banks and corporations, so you know, here's Wells Fargo at the time, although this is closer to 20 billion now, compared to all their bank premises or other fixed assets combined of about 8 billion. Um, don't, don't lose sight of the fact also with much smaller banks, uh, it can be even greater uh, multiple than what they own in physical real estate or other fixed assets. So the reality is most people were not aware that this is what the biggest banks in the world do, uh, in particular here in the United States, but as well as major corporations like Walmart Corporation, GE, Johnson & Johnson, big, big companies, uh, General Motors. This, this is how you, you are able to hire uh, these CEOs and pay them 10 to $20 million a year because you're protecting the pensions of other key executives that as they use this money tax-free and then pass, the, the money comes back three to five times more tax-free and enables them to basically recirculate those tax-free assets into building a bigger and bigger uh, funding source to protect themselves. So investing versus indexing. Um, you know, it, it goes back to the story of the three little pigs. Uh, market risk is investing. Uh, tech boom, right? The tech boom and bust is an example. We don't know when this house of straw is going to get blown over. So whether we're talking about the S&P, the Dow Jones, the Russell 2000, uh, Barclays bond, Euro stocks 50, uh, the reality is it's a question mark at any given time. Now, the house of bricks versus the house of straw is going to be no market risk. And these are going to be um, unique. There's 2,000 insurance companies, arguably, in the United States. There's uh, only a handful that have the proper chassis for the optimal, optimal excuse me, design to get the ultimate income from this. And what we're really wanting to do is have the insurance company use an indexing uh, where we're, we're choosing one or more indices that uh, we can link, right? So we can link to one or more of these and with n unlimited options of the growth, but still with the floor of protection, meaning our, our account value can't drop below, right? So if the market loses 40, uh, we didn't gain anything, but we would have gotten a zero that year, right? So in 08, 09, uh, 2000, 2001, 2002, zero uh, was a hero, as we say. But whatever gain we have is then credited back, which is then deposited right back in to our capital accumulation account at these highly rated, uh, top rated insurance companies that have this unique design. Now, uh, think about uh, the relationship to this graph, right? If, if we have 100,000 and the market goes up 10%, our new gain becomes our new principal. If the market the next year lost 10%, notice in the green, we stay. The market goes up, we go up. The market goes down, we stay. And if we play this out, um, the average return in, in this performance of the red, they can get away with not average compounding return, but just average return, which doesn't count the down years, by the way, can reflect the assumption or what I believe to be very uh, deceptive uh, results of a 10% average return, right? Now, you tell me, if we started with 100 and we ended up roughly $95,099, that's an actual return of a negative 4.9%. And folks, uh, with removing all the smoke and mirrors and in, in how a lot of these fund companies can create a false sense of security, we don't live on average returns, we live on actual returns. So we lock in and reset to protect. And in this example, although it's never been up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10, 69% more money 
than you know, taking the risk of being in the market. So a lot of times people ask, well, talk to us. And I talk a lot about on Hidden Wealth Radio uh, how our clients have more than safely doubled and some have even tripled their income in these strategies. Going back to 2000, from 99 into 2000, um, notice that uh, this client, uh, let's say traditional investing in the uh, S&P uh, 500, is um, now through 2013 back to about 788 and indexing were up over a million four, almost uh, not quite twice as much. But keep in mind, this is likely in an IRA or 401k, which means there's a, a tax lien against this of about 20 to 40 percent, depending on your tax bracket, compared to this being completely tax free and protected. So if the market takes another nosedive, say it loses 50 percent, uh, if you were here, you're going to go down to about 375,000, which is less than you started with. Here we stay, and this is just using one strategy where we actually have a cap, where we only participate in the first 15%, but we never participate to the downside. Uh, there's a lot of uh, strategies to, to re-indexing and rebalancing throughout these years that we helped clients with that have far exceeded 1.4. Uh, in fact, some of them are pushing almost 2 million. So it's, it's very important that you understand the difference between indexing and investing as it relates to your serious protected retirement income needs because you can't, as one client recently said, I, I don't have time to make up for future losses. I don't have time really to make up for the losses I've, I've, I've had. Please show me how to optimize all my assets, which I'm about to show you in a couple case studies. Now, a lot of people want to know how the performance compares. Well, apple to apple, we compared to uh, just a regular investment versus a retirement insurance contract. And the performance is, is, has a much higher ending accumulation value and the result is much different, right? Putting money away and comparing it to CDs, annuities, mutual funds, IRAs, uh, even being generous that there was never a major market loss nor that taxes went up, this client uh, in roughly their 60s would be out of money by age 79. That's when they, they go red in all four categories. And folks, that's if tax rates don't go up. I have a hard time believing in the next 18 years tax rates aren't going to go up. In fact, they already have compared to safely earning over almost 1.4 million on an account that's safely protected. Uh, very, very important. Very important. So we know how to compare. I've heard, you know, life insurance is very expensive. This isn't your grandma's life insurance. So this is a managed, um, low cost per Morningstar uh, mutual fund account at almost uh, 550,000 over, uh, over a 30 year period versus roughly just over 200,000 in the retirement insurance contract. Now, these are going to vary based on age, health, gender, but the good news is you only have to take a minimum amount of death benefit based on your health and your age. So you're not overpaying because of maybe not being as healthy as you once were. We have several clients that have had rated health um, that uh, it's no more costly. It's very rarely much more costly for somebody who has perfect health as somebody who's had some some prior medical history of concern in the future that the underwriters have to risk manage uh, when they underwrite. So here's the case studies as we finish. Uh, very important, pay attention, uh, really be thinking about your thinking. In this first case study, which is the personal use of Social Security to create your own personal secured pension, uh, is creating a tax-free lifetime income solution with a protected an inflation protected income payout. So this is giving you an example, and we can tie this in, and you can learn from my book, What to Do at 62. Um, but here's a, an example of somebody using their $1,500 a month of Social Security being $18,000 a year and electing that, let's say, at age 62 and at 72, turning around and then turning on a tax-free lifetime income that uh, really, it, we, we can inflation adjust this, but this for just simplicity is roughly $20,000 a year. And this is based on a 25-year historical performance of exactly um, what the indexes did. Now, you'll notice we have the floor of protection when there's zeros. We were making 24, 11, 39, 13, 21. So no upside cap, but def definitely downside protection. And there's an inflation income protection rider that comes as part of this to where we can adjust this 5%. Um, it would start income out a little less, but the income would almost double over that person's lifetime. And the good news is, especially if you're single, where there's not a survivor pension benefit, 
there's only a death benefit to Social Security of a whopping $255. This is the death benefit tax-free that would still transfer to the surviving um, beneficiaries of this particular client. Uh, number two is how do we create two-in-one protected retirement income planning, a, a, a double lifetime income solution? So. Um, here's an example of where we're using a very uniquely designed uh, protected income pension payout annuity. Now, what's unique about it is there's no fees, uh, there's, no, there's no commission off the principal put in, there's no uh, ongoing management fees, there's literally no fees. There's also no cap to the upside, but there's a floor of protection to the downside. So here's a client, very important you pay attention, that we rolled over their former 401k or IRA, no tax on the roll over. And then we started using unique 10% penalty free withdraws that we can now, this in this particular client's case, their, this IRA they did not need immediate income from. And I wanted to demonstrate with these two circles that there's a accumulation value, but there's a protected income value. And this particular index that we're linking to um, credits 50% higher of what the index does to the protected income value. So it did five here, but it credited almost eight here. Well, these are going to be required minimum distributions, folks. And the quicker we can escalate this account down, although it's been doing so well historically that it's hard to really get it down, the quicker we get it down, we can get the client out of RMDs, out of inheritance tax. Okay, but notice here, after the 10th year, we can turn on a lifetime income withdrawal that is projected to start, in this client's example, at around 34000 but it's not static. It goes up. So notice, getting into 2000, 2001, 2002, we had very little growth on this index, but we didn't have any losses because the market lost badly in those years. But when we had this gain, 50% more than this return is what got credit to the income re return, but notice how the income jumps from 34 to 41. Folks were outfoxing inflation, and we're not paying any fees to do that. So notice how the income started at 33, and we're only running it out 25 years, but it got over two times more, right? And even if this account, and you don't have to take the higher amount, but if you kept needing a higher amount, or you want to start gifting this out of your estate, Notice that even when this account went dry, based on this projection, that the years that there's gains, the income still continues to climb. And this income, by the way, is a joint payout income, which would survive the surviving, which would survive the initial passing spouse, which really is a peace of mind uh, of certainty and security for couples building lifetime protected, especially uh, inflation protected lifetime income. Very important. But here's the question. Where did these 10% penalty-free withdrawals go? Well, they went into the retirement insurance contract that enables us now to create a second pension income where if, gosh forbid, we died, this, this couple, the survivor of this couple, uh, would leave uh, $800,000 tax-free. Or after the 10th year, we can turn on another lifetime income payout. This one's inflation-adjusted that would start at 17 and continue to climb and go over three times where it started by simply protecting them to where even at, at this point it, 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 where it's paying out roughly 53000 even after these loans which are against this death benefit have been paid back there's still almost a half million of money to be leaving tax-free to your children, your church, or your charities. Now, my last one as we finish up is two-in-one tax-free retirement income plans, having a Roth and retirement insurance contract tax-free solution. So here was a client that we rolled over a traditional IRA, and they had excessive amount of money in their savings account. Uh, it made no sense for them to keep that kind of money. They were just scared of the market, and they I think they inherited some money or they'd sold a property. And they said, look, um, We've got great savings over here, but it's just the bad part is it's not earning anything, and we know we're losing indirectly. And I said, well, how about creating two tax-free lifetime incomes, which on the prior example, both those income sources, starting at the 33 and the 17, the client gets both of those, not one or the other. That's how we create two income sources from the same savings deposits. And in this client's case, we said, look, let's convert to a Roth, and, and don't take the Roth conversion tax out of the IRA itself. This client had 250, we rolled over, 
no tax on the rollover, zero tax. And then we were able to do 10% penalty free withdrawals in a Roth status, very important that we did a Roth conversion and the basis, remember, isn't taxable if you haven't let it vest for five years. Just the gains are if you take it before five years. Well, we're removing basis here and we're putting it into the retirement insurance contract, which is not on this illustration. But we then, after 10 years, turned on a Roth protected retirement income payout with inflation protection inside of it that started at approximately 25, almost 26,000 and grew more than double over that period. And this is a great way to build two tax-free incomes. This income is tax-free. And where we put the 20,000 times 10, this inflation-protected lifetime income benefit is tax-free. Now, what's great about this particular strategy is it has a chronic and critical uh, insurance protection that if the, one, the surviving spouse got really sick later in life, they could accelerate loans against this death benefit tax-free and offset their chronic care or their critical care needs without spending down their other assets. And, and that's imperative, folks, is how do you optimize all of your assets and do it with bigger, faster, cheaper, easier with the least amount of money that you need uh, in order to make sure that you have what you're going to need or, and or the surviving spouse will have what they need and yet still leave a very tax advantageous legacy to make a difference today as well as after you're gone tomorrow. So, uh, author unknown, but all are presented opportunities. Many recognize it, some respond to it, an elite few take advantage of it. Listen, I, I'm like you. I understand that things can sound too good to be true. I can understand and, and relate to the fact that just because uh, we've not heard of it, we're somewhat skeptical. Um, if you'll suspend your disbelief, if you're willing to become aware of what you've never been made aware of before, especially as it learns to your particular case, not these case study cases of clients that we've successfully helped, then um, here's your protected retirement discovery next step. Um, there is, uh, to the right side of this screen, there is going to be a simple follow-up information form, right? And I can't emphasize enough the importance of putting the best data reach you, which usually you want to act within the next 72 hours while it's fresh in your mind so we can continue this educational learning experience, especially as it relates to your numbers, the best phone number to reach, the best time. Be sensitive to the time zone. So base it on Eastern time zone. When's the best time based on Eastern time zone to reach you, the best number, the best day within the next one or two days, and your, your preferred email. So if for some reason we'd miss you, especially with 10,000 people turning 65 every single day, and will project it for the next 19 years or so, it's important that if you're serious about getting serious in or for retirement, that we know how to reach you so that we can follow up with you and serve you the most efficient way possible. Uh, our process is very simple. We start with a discovery interview type meeting, learning what you're trying to do, what you have to do it with. If you're serious, uh, this isn't just something you're, you're looking to uh, for fun explore but you're really ready to get down to brass tacks on what you have how long it's gonna last how does it compare and what you can do to protect your retirement income uh, then you're gonna want to have our team reach out and uh, get in touch with you to set that discovery meeting then we talk about different wealth creation and preservation formulas uh, then we design a hidden wealth building uh, hidden wealth building blueprint to show you what you can do uh, is alternatives to traditional planning that has failed people miserably and then the importance of what the ongoing building blocks are to hold each other accountable. Uh, folks, uh, What to Do at 62 I think is a great resource uh, for those of you that um, have registered now and obviously attended uh, this Wealth Educational Webinar I want to gift you and say thank you for holding your time and attention uh, and we're going to gift you this book. It's not imperative that you read the book before we have the discovery meeting. I would love to, to have you uh, do so, but a lot of that we assign to you as homework uh, if we engage in going to step two with you in our service uh, platform. So it's not imperative you have to read the book before you set a meeting. Um, but I want to gift that to you, and I, I want to encourage you that as we've gone through this, uh, it's, very, it's proven that you've thought at least of two or three people, uh, or will within the next few days, that uh, you care about that could really benefit in learning what you're now learning and uh, all you simply have to do is refer them to learnhowtoretirenow.com 
and let them be educated just as you are educating uh, yourself. So uh, simple questions we'll ask you when we do reach out to you. Uh, tell us about uh, your health, tell us about your assets, uh, just like we're asking you to the um, uh, right side of this page. And I, 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 wanna, I wanna thank you for your time and attention and I wanna challenge you that uh, people aren't gonna make it in retirement. And uh, we see them unfortunately uh, and have saw them now for almost two decades. And there are people that take the time and make the effort to learn what they didn't learn from before to have a personal protected secure and certain retirement income plan and i'm confident that you can do the same here's to your hidden wealth